Let's talk a little bit about flat cabbage. Flat cabbage, uh, we've, seen, uh, we've seen pointed cabbage, we've seen round cabbage, we've seen uh, red cabbage, savoy cabbage, green cabbage. Here we have a type that is popular in certain markets. Asian markets, uh, often you see flat cabbage because the leaves are very thin and I'll show you that in a moment. And of course, Eastern European markets where people like to make a lot of cabbage rolls, it's nice to have uh, heads that have nice big leaves so it's easy to make cabbage rolls. And we'll take a look at how that is done as well. We have uh, three different varieties. There is Gunma. This is the first variety they've introduced. It's relatively early. It matures in about 75 days. It's quick. It's very uniform, easy to grow, very nice resistance to thrips. This is a male sterile variety. We talked a little bit about male sterility in another segment uh, of, this, uh, of this program. Uh, male sterility gives us uh, very good and reliable seed production, which is very handy for you, the grower. You don't have to worry about whether there's going to be enough seed or not. And then this newest variety is 3517. It's a little bit earlier than Palamut and uh, Gunma, uh, and it is a little bit more compact, which is also nice. Not everybody wants a big head. And it has very good field holding and has good, good resistance to head rot. So let's get into this a little bit and let's find out what makes flat cabbage special. Let's take this head and cut it open. And I can show you what it looks like on the inside. This is what we're talking about. Thin leaves, almost paper thin that are nice and crisp. Because the leaves are nice and thin, they bend easily, but they also cook very quickly. See, this is how thin this is. It's almost like paper. It doesn't take but a minute or two in a hot wok and the cabbage is cooked, it still has nice crispness. It cooks at the same speed as all the other ingredients in the dish. So uh, in, in Asian dishes, this is a great addition to any stir fry. Certainly you can use other kinds of cabbages, but you have to be prepared to pre-cook that cabbage a little bit because it's probably gonna take longer to cook. But if you're in a hurry, use this kind of cabbage because it cooks super quick. Let's take a look at another way that we can uh, cut these cabbages instead of right to the middle. We can also cut them into a square. like this. And now you see the benefit of this nice layering of these cabbage leaves. Because if you're looking for a cabbage leaf to make a cabbage roll, we have one right here. See, and it's nice and flexible and it rolls up nice and tight like, like that. And there's one that's right below it. And below that is another one. And below that one is yet another one. An endless supply of salad leaves ready for consumption. You can use it instead of a, uh, of a piece of bread to make a roll-up sandwich, uh, like a wrap type of a situation. Or what you also see quite often is in Eastern European cuisine, the people cut the core out, out of the whole head, basically making a hole in the bottom of the head, drilling out this core, and then throwing this whole head into a vat of sauerkraut. It will ferment together with the rest of the sauerkraut. And then what you have in Eastern European cuisine is a sour head. And all you have to do, because the head is already fermented and the leaves are nice and pliable, you just peel off a leaf and you peel off another leaf, you peel off another leaf, and you make galumpkis, cabbage rolls, easy to do. And you'd be surprised at how much of a market demand there is for these kinds of cabbages. We sell a lot. And maybe at some point or another, you'll have an opportunity to try one too. Let us know what you think. Yeah.